Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Melanie Baglin will make history this weekend when she becomes the first women's basketball player to have her number retired at Indiana State. It is just the next step for her in a basketball legacy that will last a lifetime, not just at ISU, but across the Wabash Valley. I wasn't always the best athlete. I wasn't the fastest one. I couldn't jump the highest, but I was definitely going to put in the work to try to be the best. What defines a legacy? Can you measure it by shots and steals? It's another steal for Mel. People say they want to be great, but what do they do to make that happen? And Melanie really, you know, made it happen. It doesn't just happen overnight. It takes a lot of work and things that people don't see. What about wins and losses? Melanie Beglin's Terre Haute South teams finished 66 and 7 with four sectional titles. It was an incredible experience, and there's been so many great players that went through Terre Haute South as well. She was a driven kid, and she came through with what I might call the golden age of uh, athletes, female athletes through South. And the city of Terre Haute's only state basketball championship. Melanie's a winner. She had a bunch of winners surrounding her, and those kids were not going to lose. She worked harder than anybody that I've ever seen. And people can put time in the gym, and they can put time in the weight room, but she put in the right time and worked on her game to improve. Because in high school, obviously we played together. She was a good player, but she certainly wasn't the player that she became, you know, at Indiana State. Mel helped the Sycamores to an 88 and 36 record in four seasons where they won or finished second in the MVC regular season three times. But ask her what stands out the most. It's the way that our community truly embraced our team and what we were trying to do. Um, I remember growing up, I went to camps at Indiana State. I went to all the games when I was young, and there weren't a lot of people in the stands. So the fact that we were able to bring some success to the program and not just win games but get the community involved uh, was a huge um, part of our success and something that our team is really proud of. And that's the legacy. Not school records or wins, but the impact basketball left on her, her teammates, and the Wabash Valley. She has been a big part of that program and had such a lasting impact to know that she's the first female to have her jersey, you know, retired that'll be hanging there. And to walk in every time now and see that and, and know that the impact that she's had on the program, I'm just, I'm really, really happy for her because she earned it. Thinking through this whole Jersey retirement, it's really considered an individual award, but it is far from that. I mean, there's players throughout my career that have had such a huge impact, and that team in particular at Indiana State. I mean, we had so many great and talented players uh, that any day could step up and kind of carry that load. Her greatness is even carried over into the workplace today, working for IU Health in Indianapolis. And after this weekend, her jersey will hang in its rightful place. The number of teams and the number of players that will come through. And um, I know as a player, you do look in the rafters and you see whose names are up there. So it's just a really cool experience to think the number of players throughout the next several, several years are going to see my name up there with some of the other greats.